Come on then. That's it. Good boy. That's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, good boy. So yesterday morning, we noticed that Jacob was acting abnormally. He was laying down, um, which is it's normal in the mornings that they're all laying down in the sun. But once we put the food in, he was still laying down and not uh, didn't get up to eat. Um, and then he was getting up and then laying down again, um, looking at his stomach. And these all tend to be signs of colic. So colic in horses can be fatal. We knew that we had to act straight away so we separated him from the other horses so that he couldn't eat um, because that would make the situation worse and we gave him a painkiller injection. In the afternoon we didn't notice much improvement so we made the decision as our vets couldn't get here to take him to the equine hospital in Mercio. At the hospital they did a series of tests to begin with so they checked his blood to make sure there's no toxins or anything and um, that was fine they did a physical exam and an ultrasound basically confirmed that he had an impaction. And gas was building up in the intestines. They put a tube up the nose into the stomach and they start to flush out the stomach. Because horses can't be sick, so really this is the only way to get the contents of the stomach out. Um, the food in the horses is not it's empty. It's empty. Uh, it's two hours. And there was a lot of food in there. Yeah. So they managed to get the majority of it out and he was feeling a lot better. Jacob's quite wild. He's not really used to uh, that sort of environment. He's not used to being trailered. Um, so when he arrived, he was quite stressed, but he was in a lot of pain as well. And once they started pumping the stomach out, you just saw him um, relax and he felt, you could tell he felt um, a, lot, a lot of relief. So it's now, it's five past one. Uh, we just got back from Mercia and uh, from the hospital. And the, um, so he's, he's doing, uh, he's much better now. So he's not in any pain now. Um, they've managed to clear out his stomach. Uh, he seemed a lot calmer when we left him. So that's better. And um, 
Uh, so he's on a drip, so they hydrate him and they can't give him laxatives because um, his digestive system isn't working at the moment, so it won't process it and all that will do is will give him more pain. So they need to give him uh, fluid treatment so that he can hopefully, it will soften the stools and then he can pass them and then he'll be back to normal. So um, he's not out of the woods yet, but he's made, he, he's you know, in the right direction. And then um, uh, if that doesn't work, then we will have to speak to the surgeon because the next option is that they operate and they would have to cut him open and remove it that way and then stitch him back up, which obviously we want to avoid at all costs. Um, and that's a completely different uh, scenario. So yeah, that's where we are now. Poco mejor. Sí, poco a poco va mejor. Ah, okay. And still, um, sin, sin comido. De momento no ha comido nada. Va a empezar a comer esta tarde. Esta tarde. Hi guys. So he's looking a lot better. Um, he's had a night of uh, diarrhea, um, but apparently every time he's getting a little bit better. So he's just got to stay here for a little bit longer. He's on a drip at the moment, um, and that has various um, electrolytes and things like that in there to keep him uh, healthy. He's got a muzzle on at the moment, which he doesn't like. Not happy about muzzle, because he does like to eat everything. But yeah, he's, uh, he's looking like he's out of the woods, which is good news. So hopefully um, he gets his food this afternoon and then he all should start feeling a bit better and getting back to normal.
perfect day for the road The blue sky will take us home We'll take it easy, we'll take it slow It's a good day for the road really wants that food. <laughs> Whoa, steady on. <laughs> I think we'll go over here because you're getting slobbery. Okay, well, as you can see, uh, Jacob's back and uh, he's looking a lot, lot healthier than he was from when he left. Um, he was really good. Uh, he's gone on the, on the trailer very well. Uh, he's come back, he's run over to the herd. They've all had a run around and met him again. And uh, they're a bit confused because it looks like Jacob, it doesn't smell like Jacob. Um, but yeah, so he's very, very hungry. He's effectively been starved for quite a while. So um, yeah, so he's trying to eat as much as he can. So he's just on some soft hay at the moment. And we're just gonna try and, so this, the next 24 hours, he'll get about 70% of what he normally gets. Um, so we can just ease him in. And then tomorrow he should be back to normal with normal amounts of food. But we're just absolutely delighted to have him back. And it's a big relief.